don't you try connecting these two so that you only have one clamp on the actual multimeter? VISTA is the Virginia Initiative for Science, Teaching, and Achievement. It is looking at best practice research related to science teaching. And we have programs for elementary teachers, secondary teachers, science coordinators and science education faculty across the entire state. What we're learning here in VISTA, not only am I learning ways to now integrate it into other subjects and how they can blend together to be able to more easily allot time to it, the kids are going to see how science is everywhere and, and all the time. There's been a lot of information that we're covering and there's been a lot of um, good hands-on experiences, good modeling of problem-based learning and of inquiry-based science instruction. So there are several Several components to VISTA, but four of the main pedagogical, curricular, kind of teachery type pieces are hands on inquiry, problem-based learning, and nature of science. And so with hands-on, we have a definition that students should be purposefully manipulating real science materials when safe and appropriate in a manner similar to a scientist. I would say the most interesting thing would be all the cool different experiments that I never thought would be possible on a fifth grade level before. It's nice to really see things that are age appropriate and know that I can pull this in, into my classroom and that it's going to be effective because I've seen it done. To hear the students actually say, if we had done this more in my class, this is awesome, I love science now. And it was because we were giving them real opportunities to be like real scientists. For inquiry, we focus a lot on students asking questions, collecting and analyzing evidence in order to answer a problem. And I think one of the big things that we've seen at VISTA has been let the students explore, let the students have chances to design things and modify things to throw more of the engineering aspect and, and design briefs into your science curriculum. I definitely think that the kids are more engaged and definitely become more active and more critical thinkers when you force them to have to be able to explain their answers. With problem-based learning, um, we believe in a model where students are investigating real-world problems that have multiple solutions and that need to be solved over an extended period of time. I can't wait to get back and work on my problem-based learning unit. I think it's going to be such an effective strategy to integrate my science units as well as bring in things like social studies with mapping skills and math and reading and really see how it's going to be more authentic learning for the students. And it's not going to be such different units. We start one unit, stop it, move on to the next. With this, we can really create a very seamless program and a really seamless curriculum for them that I think they'll get a lot more from. When they're planning their PBLs, we really encourage teachers to look at where does content naturally Really fit. For example, if you're teaching a unit on oceanography, couldn't you also do ecosystems? Could you do light and sound with that? What are some other science topics you might already be teaching that naturally would be able to integrate in? We've formed a team at VISTA. We are going to be in contact and we're going to keep on talking about our practice and science instruction and what PBL, you know, they're, they're implementing and sharing these ideas and Right now, I, there's about five or six ideas that are bouncing around my head, thinking about how the students could design a device that changes salt water to fresh water. But again, I, what I've realized at VISTA is try some of your ideas, and I'll be pleasantly surprised how many different ways students will come up with you know, projects that meet the goals. The other aspect that VISTA really focuses on is nature of science. So what is it that science is? How is it different than art or music or history or English or math or other fields of study? I think the most interesting thing I've learned has been the emphasis on the nature of science and actually having students buy into the idea that what we're doing is what real scientists do. We believe, for example, that we have to have evidence. I can't just believe something until I actually show evidence of it, communicate that to that evidence, convince a group of my peers of that evidence being accurate and my conclusion valid. I've noticed that I find myself changing the way that I'm questioning the children and how I'm leading them to explore more of their answers as opposed to leading them to a particular answer. And having the students do a lot more of the leading of the inquiry working with them on that idea that they are and can be scientists. It's making you think of a question. I wonder if that would work with... I think it's an awesome experience that I think needs to be expanded and hopefully more teachers will be able to participate. VISTA has been an overwhelming experience that has been both extremely exciting but also sometimes a little overwhelming and it's kind of like you're trying to suck in as much of it as you can before you leave to go back to your classroom. So it's been absolutely amazing and I really feel like when I leave here I'm going to be better for it.